Hey everyone, it's Carrie from Lois again. Um, today we're gonna do lower body burns. So we're going to go through um, three rounds of all lower body exercises. We're gonna do each round twice um, with 10 reps each. And there's also um, a bonus round on the floor that incorporates some core work as well. Allie's going to use the bands. So if you have the bands at home, um, you can follow Allie. Uh, and Jess and I are gonna use the weights. If you're really ambitious, you can combine the two. You can put the band on and use the weights. But, all right, we're gonna get started. Thank <laughs> you. 
because I, usually I'm not even counting, I'm just listening to the, the music and the blocks. Whew. All right. This is good resistance, too. That's how you need to Good. Oh, yeah, between the rounds, you know, is, yeah, making yeah. the adjustments. All right, so the, the right leg's going to go back again in four, three, two, right leg back. Back, down, lift. One more in this leg. All right, back to squats. In four, three, two, down for two. Down, two, up. And remember, like I said before, these two weights are feeling like they're too much. You can always put one down, or you know weights at all. All right, who's counting? I think we're at the halfway point. Right. Five. <laughs> dangerous when the instructor starts talking. Yeah. <laughs> Two more. One more. Whew. It's amazing how quickly you warm up when you're working legs. All right, left leg goes back in four, three, two, let's finish this round. Back, down, lift. Two more. One more. Yes. All right, round one is done. Give those wrists and forearms a break. All right, so for the second round, so Ali can decide if she wants to keep the double loop. If you want to vary it, definitely hydrate. We're going to start with a curtsy lunge. So the pattern is pretty much the same, it's just different moves. So we're going to come down to up to. So we're staying in the curtsy. So we're not going to do that tap. Okay, of course, with the bands, Allie could definitely choose to do that. Right, you get more of the uh, abductors that way. And then we're going to do sumos in the middle, and then we'll go to the other side. All right, so you're good with the double loop? Yeah, I'm going to add the tap. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Jess and I are going to start right here. I get all the focus into that front heel in four, three, two, down, two, up, two. Down, two, whew. Let's really get to the side here. <laughs> Super tight abs. Three, two, one more, one more. Yes. All right. So now the left leg is going to go back. Yep. Just those bands so they don't come up and become your belt. <laughs> Four, three, two, left. Oh, yeah, that's right. Down. Two things, Jess. <laughs> nice to actually start in the, uh, the correct position. Pushing into that front heel. There's 
is our halfway point. Here's five, four, three, two, one more, one more. Yes, all the muscles are awake. And one. All right. So you need a little breather with those weights. We're going to do the same thing again. Curtsy lunge here, sumo here, curtsy lunge here, and we'll cross that round off. Please have a good solid leg workout. Good yeah. solid weight training leg workout. No curls. <laughs> right. Just do what works. Yep. All right. So we're going to start with our right leg back. Get abs tight, relax those shoulders in four, three, two, down for two. Down. There's our halfway point. Here's five. Four. Two. One more, one more, and you cross these off. Yes. All right. Let's finish up with that, Christy. Let's cross round two off of our list in four, three, two, down for two. Down. And one, round two done. All right, so we have one more round of standing, and then we have that bonus round on the, on the floor. So what we're gonna do, you can use one weight, two weights, or no weights, and I'll let Allie decide what she wants to do with those glutes. So we're gonna be doing the booty, I call them booty lunges because that's where I feel the burn. Um, but we're stepping back. So my, my torso is touching my quad there, and then we're coming up. So we have 10 of those on each leg, but in the, in the middle, just like the pattern for the first two rounds, there's a pattern here when we're going to do a deadlift. So remember when you need a deadlift, you want to maintain that nice flat back. It's not about how far you go down, you just don't want to round. I'm going to do a, uh, a glute, like a glute kickback here, and then a deadlift. So I'm going to triple up. Okay. Triple them all on. So there's a lot of weight to stand. So there you go. You have the glutes at home. Triple up with Allie. <laughs> So we'll start with our right leg going back in four, three, two. So step back, torso touches the thigh, and come up. There's one. Push into that front heel. There's two. Three. Four. You can see Allie's just lifting that back leg. Five. Halfway there. Count down. Five. Four, three, two, and one. So if you held one weight for that, I'd recommend picking up two for the deadlifts. In four, three, two, so down to the two count. We're coming down two, and then up two. Abs are tight, squeeze the glutes. Down, there's two. Down, three, four, five. We're half 
halfway there. If you want to slow this down more, if this tempo still feels too fast, slow it down. There's seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Yes. Whew. All right, so now the left leg is going to go back in four, three, two, step back, back, and press up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whoo! All right. Yeah, give the four arms a break there, right? Five. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to repeat that round, and then we'll be done with the standing, and then we have a bonus round on the floor that involves some crunches, some glute bridges, um, and some supine crunch reach. All right. Are we ready? Yes. Why delay the inevitable? <laughs> Let's just get it done. Good time. All right. <laughs> so the right leg is going to go back in four, three, two, step back. Remember, hinge forward, torso touches the thigh, and come up. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Dead lifts. In four. Three, two, down for two, down, and up two. There's two, three, four, five. Halfway there. I'll count down now. There's five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, home stretch. So the left leg is going to go back in four, three, two, booty lunge, finish it. There's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yes. All right. Whew. So for the bonus round on the floor. We're going to start with crunches, so no weight. We're going to have the both feet flat on the floor, and we're just going to come up two and down two. So we'll have ten of those. And yes, even though it's a bonus round, we're going to do it twice. All right, and then you're going to, I'm going to place the weight on for the second one, where we're going to glute bridge up and down. So you can, again, play around. You can have both weights on your thighs, one weight or no weights. And then the last one, we're going to extend out and I'm going to start with my right leg and my left arm. We're going to lift up and tap. So we'll do it all on that side and then all on that side. Yep. All right, starting with those crunches. In four, three, two, up, two, down, two. So you want to exhale on the way up and inhale on the way down. So pretend you have that tennis ball right underneath the chin. Up, two, down two. We have three of them done. <laughs> There's four. Five. Counting down. Lift. There's five. Up. Four. Up. 
three, lift, two, one more, lift, and one. All right, so I'm going to grab, you know what, I'll do both weights. So yeah. Jess, it's up to you if you want to do one weight. Allie still has her loops on. Yep. So hope. <laughs> All right. In four, three, two, we're doing everything to the two count today. So lift up, squeeze the glutes, and lower down. Keeping the abs tight. There's one. Lift. Two. Lift. Three. Lift. Four. Lift. Five. There's your halfway mark. Lift. Here's five. And lower. Lift. Four. And lower. Come on, three more. Lift. Three. Down. Two more. Up. Squeeze. And down. One more, one more. Lift. Up. And down. All right, I'm getting rid of those weights because now we're going to those supine crunch reaches. So I'm gonna do long lever. You can also modify by keeping the knees bent and keeping maybe the um, left elbow behind your head and just crunching in with the knee instead. Alan, you're gonna do a different modification? Yeah, I'm gonna do a, just like a static lower leg lift. Okay. So, I'll, so on the way down, I'm gonna split the legs and then I'll bring them through together. So kind of like a circle on the way down. Okay, and that's going to be great for the loops. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so pick your favorite. So Jess and I will be reaching our left fingertips to our right toe in four, three, two, one. So we lift up and down and left. There's two and three and four, five. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, we know the rule, you know, one side you do the other. So I'm just gonna reverse, I'll go down together and split open to the top. Okay, in four, three, two, here we go. Lift and lower. Here's Two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, one more, and ten. All right, one more time through. Let's get this done. So starting with those legs bent, fingertips behind the head. Now, if you really want, you can extend the legs up and you can crunch from that position. I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> In four, three, two. You're still going up two. So exhale, lift two. Inhale, lower two. Here's two. Control it. Three. Four, five, six, seven, you're going to make it, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! All right, I'm grabbing both weights because I committed to that the first time around. Of course, you can always play around a bit. If you did both weights the first time and you're like, I don't think I can make it through all 10 reps, then you drop down to one weight or no weights. In four, three, two, up for two. So push into those heels, squeeze the glutes at the top and down, keeping those abs tight. Up, there's two. Lift, three. Lift, four, lift, five. There's our halfway mark. We've got this, counting down, five, and four, 
and three, and two, and one. Woo! All right, last move. So we have 10 reps each side, and we'll call it last. All right, so Jess and I are gonna start with our left fingertips um, to our right toes. Allie, do you wanna review the direction? Yep, so we go out with a circle and pull together through the center, and then I'll reverse that in the second, on the second round. Okay, in four, three, two, here we go. It's lift, up, lower, there's one. Lift, lower, two, lift, lower. Three, lift, lower, there's four, keep it going. Five, there's our halfway point, counting down, five, four, three, two, one more on this side, and one. Switching sides and reversing directions with Allie. In four, three, two, here we go. Come on, get it done. Lift. There's one. Lift. Two. Three. Four. Five. Here's five. Four, three, two more, two, and our favorite number, one. one. <laughs> All right, bend the knees in. You can gently rock side to side. We're just gonna stay on the mat for a quick stretch. So we're gonna lower the left foot down, and we're doing the exact same angle as them. So you're gonna extend that right leg up. Oh, I should have given Allie a chance. Yes, remove your loops. <laughs> I totally forgot you have the loops on. I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet. I bet. Especially if you have a triple loop. All right, so our right leg is extended up. You're going to walk the hands up towards the ankle. Now, that's the goal. But if you're here, that's fine. We're always working on flexibility. And gently think of pulling the knee in towards the nose. Now you can see my knee is nowhere near my nose, but I can feel that stretch. So you just want to engage the hamstrings, feel that stretch down the back of the thigh, breathing into it. In four, three, two, and one. Relax the head and shoulders down. Bend that right knee and then open the hip. Allow the right ankle to rest on the left thigh. And then breathe the knees in towards the chest. Again, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Breathe into the right hip and glute. And four, three, two, and one. Gently releasing that. We're now gonna place the right foot flat on the mat. Bend the left knee in, extend that left heel up to the ceiling. Walk the hands up towards the ankle. And again, gently pulling that knee in towards the nose, going to the point, always to the point that works best for you today. Breathing into it in four, three, two, and one. Relax the head and shoulders down. Bend that left knee, open the hip, left ankle to the right thigh, and then breathe the knees in and let the shoulders fall away. Continue to take nice deep breaths here. Four, three, two, and one. Releasing. We're going to roll over onto our belly. Get a little quad stretch. So we're going to bend one heel in towards the glutes. I think of pressing the laces in towards the palm of the hand. I think these are well-deserved stretches. <laughs> Four, three, two, and what you do to one side, do to the other. Go pick favorites. Breathing into this here, lengthening through the front of the thigh. 
four, three, two, and one. Now pressing up onto all fours to a neutral spine. Let's round the back up. Shin tucks in and release. Raising up, letting the belly come down. Two more like that. Rounding and releasing. One more time, rounding. This time, come back to a neutral position. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up into down dog, pushing into the heels and into the palms. Feel that three-way stretch with down dog. Breathing here, and then slowly walk the hands back towards the toes, bending the knees, taking your time, rounding up to standing. Rolling the shoulders to the top. We're going to inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale to the right. Inhaling center. Exhale to the left. Inhaling center and exhaling out. You got it done. Awesome job. And no jumping in that one. I can teach without jumping, believe it or not. All right. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow.